Evening folks. This video I'm just about to do now is one that I've been meaning to do for a couple of weeks now. But I've been trying to figure out how to go about it because it might be seen as a delicate subject to some. The subject is the uh, the first transgender boxer to get a license in the United States, Patricio Manuel, who was recently knocked out in 25 seconds by Joshua Reyes on April the 4th. And, you know, it's one of those sensitive subjects. Now, you will never find, you won't find the footage of this anywhere because it's been scrubbed from the internet because it goes against the narrative, doesn't it? Because, as you're all, all aware, we live in a fucking society now where people think that men can be men and women can be women. You know, if you cut your dick off, put, put a wig on, you're a fucking woman. If you cut your tits off and grow a beard, take some uh, hormones and grow a beard, you're a man. Well, I don't subscribe to that way of thinking. Um, there are men and women, that's the end of it. There's only two genders. I don't buy into all this endless spectrum of genders bullshit. That's just made up by fucking mentally ill people, in my opinion. However, how you want, how you live your life, I'll put this out there now, because I'm sure I'm going to get called names, I'm sure I'm going to get called a misogynistic or a homophobe or whatever. Yeah, words that get thrown around that don't mean anything anymore because people use them too liberally and they use them in the wrong context. So, I'm expecting some backlash. and To be honest, I don't give a fuck because facts are facts. You know, there are differences, physical differences, between men and women. Men have larger hearts. Men have more red blood cells, so therefore more oxygen in the system. Men have bigger lungs, and we have denser bones, and obviously more muscle ma mass. And particularly the skull is, is thicker. Yeah? So no amount of hormones and surgeries is going to change a lot of that. Now, what I find strange is usually it's the other way around. Usually it's biological men who can't compete against other men successfully in, in their own sports. For example, Leah Thomas in swimming, Laurel Hubbard in weightlifting, and probably many others out there that I've forgotten about. Usually it's them who decide to suddenly start wearing makeup and growing their hair out and saying they're a woman who get into women's sports and steal a spot from hard-working women on teams and medals and things like that in competitions, which I think is fucking wrong. I will put that out there now. I think it's horribly wrong. And particularly in combat sports, like boxing, for example. Now, this is the reason I'm talking about this one, because obviously boxing is my, my love in life, and I don't like this shit. I don't like this woke... Well, that's the word that gets thrown around, but woke. This virtue-signalling arseholishness that is going on. Now, Patricio Manuel was born Patricia Manuel, obviously born a woman, in 1985, and in 2015 successfully successfully transitioned to become a man. Right? Turned professional in 2018 and has gone 3 and 0 until April the 4th went 3 and 0 against a load of nobody a handful of nobodies with losing records, they weren't all that. I've seen footage of one of the fights, it may have been the debut, I'm not entirely sure, and it looked a bit suspicious to me, it looked like the man was holding back um, a little bit, I forget the guy's name. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's just what I saw. Yeah, that's just what I saw, it didn't look like he was, he, he looked like he was holding back, because most men, most men don't want to hit women, even if they they're dressed up as a man or calling themselves a man. Most of us, it's in our DNA, in our brains, you don't wanna you don't wanna hit a woman, right? Now on April the fourth, uh Patricio Manuel ran into a, a gentleman called Joshua Brian Reyes and got brutally knocked out in twenty one seconds. Now you will not find the footage of this fight anywhere, as I said. It's been scrubbed from the internet because it goes against the narrative, because there are people out there who are trying to brainwash us all, and gaslight us all, into thinking that there's no difference between men and women, that we're all the same, and that men and women should compete against physically against each other because there's no advantages. 
Well, I've just listed off a load of advantages. Yes, there are exceptions to, to rules, you know. There are exceptions. One in fucking 10,000 million, blah, 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 blah. You know, nine times out of ten, a trained man will beat a trained woman in most physical sports, right? And what makes it even worse is Everlast, the famous boxing equipment company, made Patricio Manuel the face of the brand. Just virtue signalling shit, you know? That's all it was. It was virtue signalling, jumping on the bandwagon, just being pricks. You know, I, I don't like all this. As I said, I really don't... I don't have a problem how people live their lives. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? If you want to call yourself they, them, or you want to call yourself a he or she, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. You want to pretend you're a cat or a dog or a tree. That's fine. You do that. You you do that. As long as you're happy and you're not hurting anyone, you do what the fuck you want. But when it comes to sport, you know, men and women should not compete against each other. Because someone's going to get fucking killed one of these days. And I guarantee it you it won't be the fucking biological male that gets killed, right? And I, I, I just I just don't like it. And I will not be fucking brainwashed into, into going along with this shit. You know, there are two genders. You can argue with me all you want. I don't give a fuck. There are two genders. You don't like it, don't listen to me. Don't, look, don't watch my videos. You don't like what I'm saying. That's fine. I don't care. But I think this shit has to stop. It really has to stop. And I find it odd that they removed the video from the internet. There's plenty. There's, there's, there's some photographs, there's stills out there, as you'll see in the thumbnail for this video. However, if it had been the other way around, if somehow Patricio Manuel had knocked out Reyes, I guarantee you the video would be all over the place. It'd be on every news outlet in the world. Look at this. There's no difference between men and women. Look. Look. This transgender man knocked out a biological man. Look at that. There's no difference. Guarantee it. Because it went the other way, and he's been knocked out, I say he, whatever, Patricio Manuel's been knocked out. It's been scrubbed. You can't find it anywhere. You cannot find the footage anywhere. Not that I particularly want to see the footage. Let's get that out of there, because I don't particularly want to see a man beating up a biological woman. I, I don't want to see it. It doesn't interest me at all. It actually makes me feel quite sick, actually. Just the thought of it is out there. So, yeah, I mean, no, I really, really, it just, it just makes me feel fucking sick. And why, why couldn't Patricio Manuel? Okay, cut your tits off and call yourself a man. That's fine. I don't, I don't get it. I think you're fucking ill, personally, mentally ill. But you do that. But why can't you compete against women, other women? Same with these. These men, these grown-ass men that sit there and say they're, they're a woman. Well, compete against other men. doesn't matter. You can call yourself what you want in your own life. In your private life, that's fine. But if you're going to compete, compete in professional sports, particularly boxing, MMA, running, yeah, anything, athletics, anything like that, you know, compete against your own biological gender. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what you call yourself. But it's just fucking madness, man. It really is. The fucking world. I'm 41 years old nearly. And it's only in the last few years. Everyone knew what a man was. Everyone knew what a woman was. Now you ask a lot of these fucking lefty loonies on the street, what's a, what's a woman? They can't tell you. And they say stupid shit like, oh, I'm not a biologist. Well, I'm not a biologist, e biologist either, but I know what a fucking woman is. I know what a man is. Just because you cut your dick off, or cut your tits off, doesn't make it so. You're just you're just mutilating yourself. And I, re I don't want to get into it now because I'll just lose my fucking temper. But these people are pushing it on children. You know, young children getting hormones and having surgeries. Oh, that's that's disgusting. That's abuse. You know, if they if they hit 21 years old and decide that they want to do it, fine. They're out as long as they're rational adults, personally I don't think they are, but that's just an opinion. But, yeah, then when they're adults they can make that choice, but putting it on a fucking child. And the reason I get so riled up about this shit is I used to work with a, a gentleman 
who transitioned to female. And he turned to sex work, right? Which is pretty horrible to think of. And unfortunately, he was no happier when he decided he was a woman. He had all the surgeries, he went through all the ther hormone therapies and shit. And sadly, he uh, committed suicide a few years ago. And it, it was pretty fucking horrendous. So this, this, this is... Um, it's quite dear to my heart, really. This, uh, I mean, it, he didn't compete in sports or anything like that, but that was just a general thing. Um, and, no, it, it's just... I, I just find it, the whole thing, it sickens me. You know, you, like I say, live your life how you want. Who the fuck am I to tell you how to live your life? Have surgeries if you really think they're necessary. But stay out of fucking women. If you're a man, stay out of women's sports. If you're a woman, stay out of men's sports. Stay with your own gender, okay? Um, but yeah, I just find it all, and all the support, okay, I'm sure Patricio Manuel is a nice person, and I don't wish any, any ill will on, the, on, 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 on them at all, on him, her, whatever, but I don't, I don't wish any, you know, I'm not happy about the fact that Patricio got knocked out, um, because it sickens me that a man basically beat up a, a biological woman, um, I don't like it. The, the thought of it just makes me, it upsets me, it makes me fucking angry actually. And I've no desire, I don't take any pride in it that it happened. You know, it just, I don't like it. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, I don't know how Joshua Reyes felt about it. He can't take, he can't be exactly proud of his performance, can he? Because at the end of the day, he knocked out a fucking woman. Yeah. <laughs> so, he can't be proud of it. But no. But anyway. That's enough out of me. I've, uh, I've had my had my rant. Um, it, it, you know, if, if you if you agree with me, that's fine. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. But um, no, I just I don't, I don't think it's right. I think men and women should stick to their own sports, stick to their own changing rooms, toilets, that sort of thing. You know. But there you go. Right, that's enough out of me. I'll probably be doing a, a video. My next video will probably be at the weekend. I'll be reviewing the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. And uh I'll speak to you soon. Take care folks. I apologise for the rant. It's just it's just something that bugs me and bothers me. And um I think it is not right. But that's this is just my opinion, folks. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. You know, you, we we can all see different views, but I think some of this nonsense has gotta stop. But anyway, I've said enough now. Take care, folks. I hope you're all well. I'll speak to you soon.